It's more than 200 flag victims in Dagoma, Mepe, in the Volta region, are still living in tents eight months after the Akosomodam spillage. The residents say they have been abandoned with no government support forthcoming. My colleague Joseph Armstrong visited the camp and reports. In September 2023, the Volta River Authority commenced spilling excess water from the Akosomo Dam due to a constant rise in inflow. Several communities and districts were affected. The livelihoods of some 39,000 people were affected, with properties worth millions of Ghana cities destroyed. School activities in the affected communities also came to a halt eight months after the spillage. Some residents at the Mepe in the North Thong district of the Vota region continued to grapple with the impact of the spillage. Some residents in affected communities were relocated to camps. Month after the spillage, I have come to Dagome Camp too. Inhabitants here are mostly those whose buildings have completely collapsed. Hence, they have not been able to return home. <laughs> Rainwater has inundated the various tents, making it difficult for residents to stay in the tents. You can see how the rainwater has soaked my bed and clothes. This tent wasn't made for us to stay in it for this long. On this, when it does not rain, the inhabitants say, the heat makes condition even worse. If we enter into the tent, about around three to four uh, that way, you can't you can't enter because it, inside is too hot and you can't stay. It, during the rain season like this, too clear, we find very difficult because the tent is linking. Skin rashes too is become another factor. With no nurses or clinics at the camp, they say there is a constant spread of skin rashes and fever. The lament being attacked by reptiles and scorpions, making staying in the camp more unbearable. How many snakes do you kill daily? If I may not lie, about three to four, sometimes three to four. And a day? A day. Snakes, are they big snakes or small snakes? Big. Some are small, some are big. And scorpion too is another factor. The leader of the camp, Sophia Abba, said the National Disaster Management Organization, NADMO, has stopped supplying them with food and water. The water connection to the camp was recently disconnected by Ghana Water Company Limited. A water company people cut the, uh, the water for us. So uh, we told DC that oh, they bring bills to us. And he told us he will come and pay the bills for us so that water will be flowing for us again. But DC haven't paid the money. Do they still bring you food like they used to be do before? No, 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 no. They are not bringing food. Not more people who uh, have to help us. Actually, they are not bringing food again. Only Gary that they bring three weeks ago. As the rainy season approaches, the urgency of the situation in Dagome Camp 2 cannot be overstated. The government and relevant authorities must act strictly to provide the necessary relief and support to the flood victims, ensuring they can rebuild their lives after this devastating event. For the affected residents, immediate and sustained assistance is not just a need, but a lifeline. Their future depends on it. All that is said in a language is that they cannot go back to their homes because their buildings have collapsed as a result of the spillage until government provide them with accommodation, they will continue to live in the camp here. Joseph Armstrong, Go Dalibet TV3, Mepe, Delgome.